Hello, dear weirding friends. Weirding means weaving, like some of you know from my book, The Weirding Way. There's a here this mysterious art of weaving your own destiny. Or you can purchase it on Amazon if you're interested. It's all a, my personal story about my reconnection with my ancestral lineage in Siberia, Kazakhstan, and Mongolia, truth, sacred weaving. <laughs> Yeah, and I offered a shamanic journey with my main underworld Ellie, the raven. That's my main energy here in my shamanic dress. You can see here. And also here in my picture. This main Ellie of the raven, also in my picture in the back there. The raven is always a big helper, especially on my journey with breast cancer since last December. I always invited the raven, like with each chemotherapy treatment, for example, to dive into the death waters. That's what chemotherapy is all about. And to transmute it. And then when we rise up and bringing into the lake, of life and it was very well received this um, shamanic journey especially now since we're in this window of crossing the wheels of Sawen where we are very close to our ancestors and between the wheels and can travel between the worlds and that's why I like to record this meditation for you, for you to receive it whenever you feel ready. So here I like to open this space to invite the raven and the dark times that can now come here in our hemisphere, at least here in Europe, where we are now coming to the dark season. And I also like to cleans the space with white sage. And Palo Santo. I love the smell of Palo Santo. Yeah, and like my magical doll, Bergini, I dressed her in the raven's cloak, like my magical owl. As you can see, the raven's cloak. <laughs> if you're interested, I can send you a link to a company in, in the UK. I just got magical owls for all different occasions. I like to anoint us, yeah, for our inner sight when we travel to the underworld and back, and also around the heart. May we receive this wisdom of the raven with an open heart and around our womb. 
The room, of course, is the dark, where everything gets birthed from. Maybe also brave to go to the weird space of the room in the dark and receive its wisdom. In Russian, Blagadaryu, many divine blessings. And I also bring my Birgini, my magical doll, with her raven's cloak that I put on her to support us and to bless us while we are in this magical journey. So, and I will chant three times weird. Yes, my drum made from deer skin from the Altai region, like my medicine totem, the wild deer Bilobotia, that I will show you at a different occasion, but I also wrote my article, how it came to me, whilst I was um, in my one year Siberian shamanism practice. So we chant weird three times, and then we will start this journey with the raven to the, to the lake of death, then we're going to release everything what no longer serves us and then travel back to the lake of life. So I invite you to just come into here now and feel how you're sitting here and just slow down your breath. Close your eyes and just come into the here now. us to travel between different worlds. I invite you to come and take a rest at this tree. And 
you look at each other, you know all of a sudden that now it is time to begin the journey to the lake of death in the underworld. And your raven sits on your shoulder and you start journeying to the lake of death. for the good to go inside this deep lake. And so you slowly go inside. And you feel instantly really, really heavy. Like something is really pulling you down. to you that it's time to journey to the lake of life because it's also not good to stay in the lake of death for near yet for too long it's now time to leave it to leave
leave it for good. And so you, you go on the journey with the raven. You don't know how long you've been flying. Now you arrive. so much sunshine and a bright daylight at a beautiful lake. And there are plants all around it and trees, glorious big trees are all around it and it looks so alive. And also the water of the lake looks so refreshing that you cannot stop yourself to drink from it and you feel like all the heaviness disappears instantly and after you drank from it you cannot wait to jump in and the water is so bright that you can even see to the ground into a new, new, new you. You feel like every cell of your body is being renewed instantly. sudden you look at the raven and you know it is time to come back now that you're all refreshed and like reborn again so slowly you follow this invitation of the raven journey back to your tree. been reborn in you. Maybe you received a certain symbol or message. It is here with you now. And now feel where you're sitting or lying. Welcome back in the here and now. Yeah, welcome back. (laughs) 
Yeah. So what kind of release was your release? What kind of rebirth was your rebirth? What kind of symbols or messages did you receive? Maybe you like to journal about it or paint it or draw it. Or like I like, for example, to embroider it like you see on my shamanic dress and in my book, The Weirding Ways. And so weirding means weaving in most language. Yeah, I'm quite curious what has risen for you. <laughs> and if you like to share, um, there are many different ways to contact me. Um, you can find all the details on my website, Erica Amazing Me. And I look forward to weird with you again. <laughs> Yeah, because the weird is the new normal where we weave a new story and a new tapestry of the new earth emerging. Thank you very much for being here with me. Russian, Lagadaru, many blessings. And I close the circle 